Happy Thursday, everyone, and thanks to the mayor for hosting this wonderful event to celebrate Valentine's Day in the idea that giving someone their heart, showing the love for an individual, and doing that in a simplistic way as when you go to the RMV and you register as an organ and tissue donor. My name is Matt Boger. I represent the federally designated OPO, Organ Procurement Organization. We're so happy to be here in the wonderful city of Holyoke, the fantastic mayor here who cares about each and every one of his constituents and represent the ideas that people can truly help save an individual's lives by simply checking the yes box. The state and federal government play an important role in organ and tissue donation in that Almost all individuals who go to the RMV are presented with that question, would you like to register as an organ and tissue donation? We encourage that verbal ask, and that is a very important issue because 99.6% of all people who register, register the RMV. I'm so pleased to have the mayor here to help us celebrate Valentine's Day and also have a proclamation identifying that today is um, uh, organ and tissue donation day. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for the wonderful lip wonderful leadership you do each and every day and having the time here today to talk about specifically organ donation. Thank you. Thank you, Matt, and good morning, everyone. And um, again, just want to thank Matt and the entire team with Donate Life and the organization for convening back in the city of Holyoke for this important event, and no less on Valentine's Day, which I think is a symbolic reminder of the importance of uh, showing love and heart to other people around us. And great to see familiar uh, residents of Holyoke uh, behind me that have been personally impacted by organ donation, be it a heart, uh, a kidney, uh, or other obviously important parts uh, of our lives. Um, I also uh, want to thank and acknowledge we have uh, aid to Representative Aaron Vega, um, Pat Duffy, so thank you for representing our state representative, and also want to thank um, aid to our senator, uh, Don Hummison. We have Michelle Moyarty, Holyoke resident with us uh, as well. I also want to acknowledge uh, Andres in the mayor's office and Nilka Ortiz uh, for helping put this event together, uh, and Eileen Pooler as well for helping get the word out. Uh, about this event. So afterwards, we'll get it up on the city website and social media to make sure as many people see this as possible. I uh, also want to thank Holyoke Media and the work they do in the city for making sure uh, residents know what's happening in the city and the issues uh, we're discussing. So I, I, I know we've done this event a, a few times over the last several years, sometimes in my office, sometimes uh, outside, uh, raising the flag. And I am a proud uh, donor on my uh, license via the, the RMV, and we encourage as many folks as possible uh, to do that. And while many people do check it, uh, and some people who don't, I don't think they uh, oftentimes uh, understand the appreciation that those folks waiting for uh, a heart or a kidney, uh, what that means uh, to them. Uh, we've had folks uh, here at City Hall, folks that have worked on my campaigns that have literally been searching for kidneys uh, for six, uh, seven years. Uh, I'm reminded of my friend Sherry Rodriguez, uh, who every campaign she makes phone calls and uh, works uh, on behalf, knocks on doors, uh, and she does so. Uh, she extends her nights uh, knocking on doors, making calls, and then she has dialysis uh, late at night. And for her and her story, um, I know that's impacted the way I view uh, this topic and these issues, and that's one of the reasons, thanks to her, uh, that I'm passionate about making sure we have this event here at Holyoke City Hall. So uh, again, thank you for um, to the folks particularly behind me for being willing to share your story briefly uh, today. Uh, but before that, I do want to issue the official Holyoke Proclamation uh, declaring today Organ Donor Day. If you'll bear with me, I'll, I'll read this quickly. Whereas there are more than 113,000 Americans with more than 5,000 in New England and more than 3,000 in Massachusetts who are currently waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. And whereas there are over 1 million life-enhancing tissue transplants each year that are made possible by the generous donation of corneas, bone, skin, or other tissue. And whereas we can all help to save someone's life and benefit up to 50 recipients by signing up to become an organ and tissue donor by enrolling in the Massachusetts Donor Registry when we apply or renew our driver's licenses or by registering online at www.registerme.org. And whereas Massachusetts is home to the pioneering efforts of many of the world's first organ transplant surgeons, it is fitting that Massachusetts continues its unique leadership role and join in the national goal of signing up 50% of our driving population to become donors, and we are dedicated to making it fast and easy to sign up to save a life through our registry of motor vehicles. And whereas this observance pays tribute to organ and tissue donors and their families whose decision to donate life enables others to receive life-saving organs and tissues for transplant. And so therefore, be it resolved that I, Alex B. Morris, Mayor of Holyoke, do hereby proclaim today, 
February 14th, 2019, also known as Valentine's Day, to be Organ Donor Day in the city of Holyoke, strongly supporting organ and tissue donation, and I urge all the citizens of Holyoke to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. So congratulations and thank you for being here, and I look forward to hearing our stories this morning. Mayor, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and, and the way that you represent organ donation are individuals that you know who have been personally touched, and that, that's really what it is about. People are alive today because of the wonderful gift, the gift of life. Simply registering as an organ and tissue donor can truly help save uh, lives, and there's some great examples uh, behind me today. I do want to indicate that organ donation is very, 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 very rare. Only about 5% of all deaths happen in a manner where someone can become an organ donor, but that opportunity can truly help touch up to eight individuals' lives. I'm so pleased today to be able to introduce a, a Holyoke resident artisan here to share his personal story. And artisan, thank you so much for being such a vibrant young individual. Thanks. Hello. Um, my name is Arzan Dance, and uh, I'm actually 20 years old, one of uh, the youngest people to uh, get a transplant uh, in Holyoke. <laughs> um, uh, I'm a Holyoke native. Uh, it's been 10 years now since I got my uh, heart transplant, and I am still going uh, strong. Um, I was born with a heart defect. Uh, November 30th, 2008, uh, I was told I was, uh, I, I got the transplant uh, when I woke up because uh, after going under, I didn't know uh, if, you know, I would wake up or not and got the transplant, and I did, and uh, I was grateful with, uh, to my donor uh, for what they did for me, and uh, I'm a college student now, uh, and I uh, play sports because of my uh, organ donor. Thank you. Arson, thank you so much for sharing your story. And this is a wonderful example, because if, if you see you, you had no idea that you had a fa fairly significant surgery. And thank you so much for all you do. And I want to thank your dad here as well, who's uh, showing the heart. And also underneath that is the uh, Patriot seal, which is also very, uh, uh, very good. Uh, but our, uh, Artisan is just one example of many individuals who have been personally touched by organ donation. Again, today on Valentine's Day, focusing on the heart, giving your significant loved one some sort of heart. Don't forget the Valentine's Day chocolate or roses. And or if you do forget that, just whip out your license and say, honey, I do love you. I do have a heart. It is on my driver's license. So that heart on your license means that you do have a heart and you care for other individuals. Again, organ donation is only considered after you've passed away. Uh, the wonderful TV shows of Grey's Anatomy and all these other uh, TV shows that have medicine as the background do a wonderful job of having an entertainment value. I want to make sure that the public's not getting their medical advice from these TV shows. Organ donation only happens after someone has passed away. Uh, lo losing someone's life to save another's life is a zero-sum game. That being said, if someone passes away, there is that opportunity to really touch someone else's life and uh, continue that life. Um, uh, we've got another wonderful story uh, of a heart transplant. Amid is here to uh, share his story. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning. My name's Hamid Madavi. I'm a resident of Wilbraham, Mass. I received my heart transplant two years ago. I am grateful for the donor who made a choice to donate life and had it on his driver's license. So when the 24-year-old young man at 11 o'clock at night in front of his family's house was struck by a car, as unfortunate as it was, I was the beneficiary of it. I got a new heart. I'm able now to continue living and all part, many, many different parts of his body went all over the world. His kidneys, his liver, his, the corneas of his eye, ligaments, bones, they went all over the country, and many, many people have benefited from him. I made a commitment while I was at the hospital to give back to the community for this great gift. So I've teamed with the mother of this young man, and we're going through New England 
promoting organ donation, promoting the gift of life, and I'm also a member of an organization called Heart Brothers. We are all heart transplant recipients, and we're out there in the community doing peer counseling to people who could benefit from somebody who's already traveled the road, and we also do fundraising and write grants to help cover the gaps that insurance doesn't cover. Thank you for your time. I mean, thank you so much for sharing that story, and thank you for your connectivity with uh, the donor family. Uh, there are two sides of organ transplantation. One, the, the side of an individual whose life today is there because of that wonderful gift, and the other side of the family members who miss their loved one each and every day, and in a lot of cases would do anything to trade places with them, but realizing that from an awful event, something truly magical happened. And to have you uh, go and become part of this individual's life and say thank you means a great deal. So thank you for uh, doing that. We have uh, other individuals here in this wonderful uh, city of Holyoke who've been personally touched by organ and tissue donation. This is, uh, sp again, speaking of love and, and the idea of romance and the idea of Valentine's Day, I want to introduce Kim Meyer, who's been a fantastic member of this community and is, is a great enjoyer of sports, and I believe wore that at the uh, hockey game fairly recently. But uh, Kim, thank you so much for being here to share your personal story as well. Thanks. I received a kidney on March 2nd, 2018, so I'm still under a year out. My husband and I are both kidney recipients. We met at dialysis. He got his transplant way before I did. He got his in 2013. And this is my second transplant. My first one failed, and I was devastated, so I would never do this again. But when I saw him go through transplant again, and saw how vibrant his life could be, I remembered. And that was enlightening for me. I don't know who my donor was. I don't know for either transplant, neither does Scott. But Scott and I live every day thanking that person with all our heart, and we do as much as we can for the community to give back. We, um, we got married last year. <laughs> We opened up a business here in Holyoke, and we love the support we get from the community, from other people who have been receiving. We talk a lot to people who have donated, families who have been, had to make that choice to be organ donors for their loved ones, and it, it's incredible. It, it, no, there's no words to, say how sorry you are, and be thankful at the same time. It's humbling and emotional. But we love our donors as much as we love our families because they have become part of us and part of our families. Thank you. So hard for you, even though you've got two on each of your uh, pads there. That is. Fantastic. And I'm assuming you wear that each and every day. So that's, I, that's great. Lot, my mother-in-law just said this is our favorite shirt. So, <laughs> so again, the idea of love, and I, I, I reflect on the Beatles, all you need is love. That, 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 that is true. Uh, their, a marriage happened because of the transplantation. And, and you two, wonderful uh, Holyoke residents, wonderful Holyoke business people are, are sharing that. So thank you for continuing that message on. Um, Kim, really appreciate that. Also, really happy to um, introduce one of our fantastic volunteers. He is an ambassador to the RMV. That means he goes in once a month and says, thank you for verbally asking that question, would you like to register as an organ and tissue donor? The question that is presented at the RMV is a voluntary question. That being said, it is not a neutral question. Both the state and federal government strongly supports organ donation and encourage people to say yes. We are the only public health question Question presented on a state document that's seen by over 70% of that state's population because everyone goes into the RMV, DMV, BMV, whatever state you are, to get either a driver's license or uh, ID. I want to thank Aaron Devaney and the entire RMV staff for the work they do each and every day presenting that question to the public. They truly are part of this effort to help save individuals' lives. Uh, Glenn uh, is, a, uh, is a guy who, who, who's been doing this for, for a while. He, he shares his story. And Glenn, thank you so much for being here today. 
Hi, I'm Glenn Wiley. I actually was born and brought up in Chicopee. My father used to own a business right here in Holyoke, Dwight Machine and Tool. And in 2015, I was diagnosed with liver cancer. Uh, I'm standing here today because someone had a little heart on their license, and I received a life-saving liver transplant in November of 2015. Uh, I, can't, I can't say enough about how much we're talking on Valentine's Day about, about how much love I feel for my donor, my donor's family, and how much sorrow. And as I'm standing here, uh, I was actually here, I think it was a year or two ago, and I was asked one of the hardest questions I was ever asked in my life. And, and the person that asked me that question happens to be standing right here in this room. And uh, I was asked by Cy Becker, what would you do if your donor was standing here, what would you say to him? I was, I went into shock. Tears came to my eyes and all I could say was thank you. I thought about that question for months and months afterwards. And the only thing that I could think of in addition to saying thank you was I hope I make you proud. Um, excuse me for that little bit of emotion there. But because that person had that little heart on their license and showed that generous a gift of or gave that generous gift of life. I'm standing here today. So I'd like to encourage everyone to sign up, become an organ donor, or sign up to be an organ donor. I don't wish that people become an organ donor. Uh, uh, and, and, and have that heart. I have to pick up this, this, this heart that, that Matt has been using, and I can't tell you how much love I feel for my donor and my donor's family, and it's especially pertinent on Valentine's Day. Thank you very much. Glenn, again, thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, I, I, I do want to also thank the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. There is a poster right there indicating the importance of registering, also indicating that we want people to register at any age, 50, 60, 70, and yes, even 80 and 90 years old, we encourage people to say yes. We hear a lot as people say, oh, I'd register as an organ and tissue donor, but I'm too old, I don't need those organs. We want everyone to register and leave it up to the professional doctors and nurses to make the determination. There are people today dying because there is not enough organs there. 22 people die each day waiting for a life-saving organ. That is a healthcare epidemic, and we could all get involved in this by simply registering as an organ and tissue donor, either when you go to the RMV and or going online at registerme.org backslash MA, registerme.org backslash MA. On that website, you will see two videos that the Department of Public Health put together helping to educate the general public, and I want to specifically thank them uh, for that. I'm also here to, to introduce a, a wonderful volunteer who I haven't seen in a little bit, but we're going to get him back in, Rick Purcell, who uh, lives here uh, as well. So, Rick, if you want to say a few words, appreciate it. Um, my name is Rick Purcell. I live here in Hoyoke, um, and I don't want to contradict what um, Matt said about um, people having a pass to um, donate organs because it's kind of sad, but it's not completely true because in 1994, um, so I'm old school. The, the stories you heard were um, recent events. In 1994, my sister was uh, uh, diagnosed with uh, cystic uh, kidney disease, and I donated my left kidney to her. So I got the old school scar to prove for the rest of my life. She lived for 22 years without having to do dialysis. And um, the best thing you can do is register to donate. That's the that's the key to success for the for all of. Heaven, don't take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here. <laughs> and if we can recycle bodies, bottles and cans, we can recycle ourselves. So, so on Valentine's Day, show some peace and love and go and register to, to, for an organ donation, please. Thank you. Rick, thank you so much. I miss you. I, for, I, forgot, I, I forgot your wonderful uh, phrases. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, it is the individuals who've been personally touched that really drive these important stories. There's a lot of great uh, movies out there. This is real life stuff. Someone else's sad passing can truly mean someone else's life being saved. Check the yes box. I want to indicate 
that the police, the fire, the EMT have no say in the organ donation process. Their job is one thing, to get an individual from the event to the hospital as quickly as possible. Emergency room doctors and nurses have one objective, and that is to save your life. They have no say in the organ donation process. That only happens, sadly, when someone uh, passes away, and there is that small, small chance that you could become an organ donor. In fact, you're more likely to need a transplant than to become an organ donor, and these are miraculous stories of individuals who've been personally touched. I also want to introduce a, a wonderful friend and, and fantastic volunteer and also an individual who represents the Massachusetts Lions uh, group. They have been a fantastic partner in the organ donation education process. They've helped fund these pamphlets regarding organ donation that are at all RMVs throughout Massachusetts in collaboration with MassDOT, um, us New England Donor Service, and the Lions. And also, all driver education students... Uh, 16, 17 years old, before you get your uh, driver's license, you go through driver education. We have a nine-minute video to help educate the youth about organ donation so they informed about what that question is so they can make that um, voluntary choice whether to register uh, or not. We do see that the data that individuals who are younger register at a tremendously high rate, about 60 to 70 percent of people in their 18 to 25-year-olds register as organ and tissue donors. When people get a little bit older, that registration rate drops to about, unfortunately, about 40%. We want to make sure that people realize that it's an individual choice, but that we want you to register at any age, and we want you to address that. So uh, Liz Sandeman, who is the chair of the Lions Association here in Massachusetts, focusing on organ and tissue donation, she also has a personal story. But Liz, thank you so much for being here. If you want to say a few words, we'd love that. Thanks. Hello, I'm Liz Sanderman. I am the new chairperson for the Massachusetts Lions Organ Donation Awareness Committee. I'm also a volunteer at New England Donor Services. As Matt said, 22 people die every day waiting for that life-saving organ. My sister was one of those. She died waiting for a lung transplant, simply because there aren't enough registered donors. And the fantastic thing is, we have the power to change that. We can put the heart on our licenses and we can all become registered organ donors. And if you're not going to the DMV, you know, today or tomorrow, go online and register. The work I do and the volunteer I do, I do it because I don't want another family to lose a loved one needlessly because there aren't enough organs available. So this Valentine's Day, have a heart, do the right thing, put it on your license and get registered. Thank you. Everyone here did such a fabulous job, exactly. That, that, that's the message we want to have here. So I do want to thank the representative and uh, Senator for re uh, sending representatives here to support this effort. And Mayor, thank you again for uh, helping to host this in your house here and to share the individual stories we've personally touched and to have an action item. There's um, I'm sure you go to a lot of meetings each and every day. There is a simple action item here. A, on Valentine's Day, remember the heart, which you can do in a lot of different ways, registering as an organ and tissue donor. But we want to encourage everyone to register and realize it's a very safe thing. So, Mayor, thank you so much for your time. I don't know if you want to say anything at the end, but really appreciate that. And we want to take a great big pre uh, picture of everyone together. But uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And thank you all to the individuals who've been personally touched by organ and tissue donation and are alive today because of that. Thanks so much to the city of Holyoke. Appreciate that time. Yeah.